Hi, my name is Wouter Henry and I'm the founder of Airshaper. In this video on airplane design, someone else will be doing the talking. Some time ago, I met Young Book Sin, who works at the Peugeot Design Center. As it turned out, even in his free time, he likes to create cool stuff, like a futuristic electric airplane. In this video, we show you some of the highlights of a 40-minute interview we did with him in which he explains all the details. Enjoy! <laughs> nice to meet you again. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yes, I uh, thank you very much for your invitation. It's, uh, it's, it's a real pleasure to, to talk with an expert in this domain, you know, on the, on the other side of the uh, continent, and able to talk about uh, our passion and yeah. share our passion. Likewise, <laughs> car design yes. and aerodynamics. <laughs> Absolutely. So this is um, basically a, a, a solar plane, an electric plane. Yes. Uh, in the, um, the ultralight category, so the planes should be around 600 kilogram maximum. And uh, with two person, I can actually show you the uh, the people here okay. sitting like this. And uh, I have uh, I've made the, the airplane as, as compact as possible for, for aerodynamic and weight reason. I have uh, rendered the wings uh, and some part of the aircraft in, in black, uh, which, which uh, corresponds to the, uh, the solar panels. Okay. Uh, 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 and the surface area of the uh, solar panel uh, should be around uh, 13 square meters. Okay, and would that uh, be enough to keep flying, or just yeah, to extend this, the this is this is this is something that this is something that I would like to find out because um, uh, if when I imagine that this aircraft will be coming out in in ten years time, I, I presume that uh, at, at that horizon, looking at the way solar panels efficiency is progressing, we may have a solar panels with thirty percent efficiency, which means. Uh, from one square meters, it, it can produce 300 watts. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So uh, when we calculate the, the, the surface areas of wing and solar panels, uh, which is about uh, 13 square meters, it can produce about three kilowatts of energy in optimal condition. And, and you put uh, the propeller around the fuselage um, aerodynamically. That's quite interesting. Maybe you can tell us a bit more about that setup. Yes, I, I thought that was a very neat idea yeah. because um, uh, Having a propeller in the front, which is a typical uh, normal propeller aircraft, is it's sort of you, it's, it's blurring the vision. You know, it's it's, fr it's front of you, yeah. and it also it's not very elegant. And I thought it would be it would be a good idea to, uh, I mean, putting the propeller at the back is nothing new. There are many aircraft that does that, but it's not. Uh, it you have to create an extra structure, an extra part that comes out of the fuselage, which looks, which doesn't, doesn't look clean. Yeah. And I thought. Uh, maybe for air, aircraft, uh, electric aircraft, we can try something new. And what I thought of was um, was an O-ring. I, I can show you here, actually. Uh, when I, uh, what happens is that it's it's an electric motor that is that looks that, that's like a basically a giant giant ball bearing. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. And uh, what this does is that it can allow. Uh, cables and other structures to pass in the middle. Yeah, I, I like the concept because first of all, um, with light planes like this, the, the center of gravity is very important. So instead yeah. of putting the rotor all the way at the back, which would um, give it an inclination angle, this one is closer to the center. And also, like you said, if you have a propeller at the front of the plane, not only does it impair visibility, but also it, it creates dirty turbulent air that is then pushed all over the plane, uh, which can increase drag. And, and the way you're doing it, you kind of uh, create an under pressure towards the cockpit where you get um, a nice and clean, more laminar flow that is pulled over uh, the cockpit where the people are. And only yeah. after the last part, uh, only there do you get some turbulence. So this Absolutely, turbulence. yes. Uh, it I think uh, tur turbulence uh, will certainly affect the, the cockpit area and also over, over the wing and also it, it will create unnecessary noise, I think. Yeah. I, I would like to have an aircraft that is very quiet, that is very sort of uh, 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 silent cruising. And, and, and I thought that is definitely one of the uh, advantage to have electric motor placed at the back. Yeah. And, uh, and, and also because of the turbulence, I've also split the tail at the back before this tail was much closer together, but I have made this a slight elongation 
yeah. so that the, uh, the the aerodynamics of the rear tail is not uh, disrupted by the, 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 the yeah. um, by the propeller. So that was it for this video on airplane design. If you want to see the full interview, just click on the link you find below in the comments. If you have any questions or comments, just let me know and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Thanks for watching, see you soon, bye bye.